Okay, in this video we're going to give you an overview of a Black Forest Monk Clock. And there's two main different types of monk automa, or the complications of the monk striking, that's found in Black Forest Clocks. The first type will have three trains to the movement. One will be a time train, the other will be a strike train or an hour strike train, and the third is the angelus strike train which also controls the automation. On this type of monk clock, the automa, where the monk appears in the strike sequence that follows the monk's automation, only takes place at 6 a.m. noon and 6 p.m. when the angelus strike is called. In a second form of black force monk automa, the monk appears at the top of the hour, and it's a two-train movement that does not strike the angelus. So instead of only having automation three times a day, in this type of automa, the monk appears very regularly and the clock is a lot busier on the automation front. That's the type of clock we're going to show here. You can see the movement on this clock looks very similar to a high quality cuckoo clock movement. But in this clock, there's two hammers that strike a single bell. And there's two additional levers that run off of that strike sequence. One lever controls the wood-carved painted monk that appears behind the double doors, and the other lever rises up with the rope to control the mock bell up in the church's upper tower. At the, type of the, at the top of the hour, the count wheel is uh, put into motion, and it's divided into two equal sections. So as that count wheel makes one half revolution, the two hammers strike the bells in perfect sequence, with the little bell ringing in the top of the tower and the monk's arms moving up and down appearing if he's responsible for the call. We want to set this clock off so you can see it in action. You can see it's a very long, very repetitious strike, uh, and that happens once at the top of each hour. So a lot of automation, uh, a lot of sound, and it's just a great uh, example of a, of a unique uh, Black Forest Automa clock. This particular example has a case where the roots ha have been applied to the case, along with other organic material such as bark and twigs and pine cones to create a really rustic looking church. And this clock was made and is signed by Anton Hackler, who's a very famous maker of high quality Automa clocks. He made a lot of dumpling eaters and other pieces just like that. For more rare Black Forest clocks, you could check out our website, which is blackforestclocks.org.